Hey guys, welcome back. We're getting so close to the end. Today we are working on breaking those habits. So if there is any kind of habits that you have that you are still clinging on to, that you are still feeding, just know that that is really taking away energy that could be used for other more life-giving things. So I know throughout my life, I have had many addictions, things that I was hooked on, that I was addicted to, and throughout all of those times when I think back on them, I really was not living optimally at that time. And it was because I just really didn't value myself. And I see that now, you know, when you're in it, sometimes it's very hard to see. Sometimes you don't even want to look at those things. So if you are engaging in any type of activities that is stealing away your life, that is poisoning your body, that is causing you physical harm in any way, then today is the day for you. So as always, as we go into this, just be gentle with yourself. Know that these habits didn't develop overnight. And as we work to work with the underlying issue behind them to relieve you of these habits, um, just be so kind and gentle with yourself and set the intention that whatever it is that you want to accomplish and achieve, you will achieve it and you will accomplish it. It is all about belief. So if you guys are ready, let's get started here today with today's session. Welcome to today's session. For today's session, our mission is habit breaking. Super excited about this one. Everybody get nice and comfortable. Keep in mind we are setting an intention as we always do that whatever needs to come through will come through and that you will have some type of insight that leads to transformation within you, a new perspective or what have you. So get nice and comfortable here, guys. Close your eyes as we begin, um, just focusing on those beautiful eyes of yours today. So with your eyelids gently closed, just noticing how that feels there with your eyes just so nice and gently closed. So with your eyes so gently closed, notice the muscles that naturally must relax there in your face. Really tune into those muscles in your face and notice the muscles that become heavy or loose or just comfortable and relaxed just from having those eyes closed. And just imagine that this nice feeling becomes heavier in your eyelids and that that heavy relaxation spreads and melts down through those muscles of your face all the way down into your chin. And those muscles just increase there in heaviness and that feeling of heaviness melts down even farther all the way through your neck and shoulders, leaving those shoulders to sag and be loose, lazy. And allowing that to melt down even farther, giving you arms and hands like a rag doll, just loose and lazy, super comfortable. Perfect, and then now noticing your breath within your chest, that rise and fall with your breath. And so next time that you exhale, just letting those muscles melt and sink down as if those muscles all the way through your torso there, all the way down to your hips, can just begin to melt away, fall off the bone, so to speak, just being limp and lazy, super comfortable and relaxed 
deeply, deeply relaxed. And as you are relaxing those muscles, just allowing that nice, heavy laziness to spread down through your legs all the way, all the way into your feet, right into those feet and even spreading into your toes. Wonderful. And as this nice, heavy relaxation just rests on top of your body, you could even imagine that you have a weighted blanket, but it feels really comfortable. Um, a weighted blanket that is now placed over top from your shoulders down to your feet. And the weight of that just brings you comfort as if um, you are getting a nice, gentle, yet powerful and loving hug. Wonderful. And so as you just continue to relax there, just allow a very beautiful natural image to come into your mind. So something from out in nature, maybe something that you have experienced in the past or something you would like to experience in the future. Uh, and as you put yourself there, just absorbing all the good natural elements, the calmness, um, the tranquility, the beauty, the perfection um, that is there in that nature that surrounds you. And I am just going to count from 10 all the way down to one with each number, just allowing yourself to sink down into this gentle, peaceful calm there within you. So 10, calmer, deeper down, relaxing fully. And nine, muscles loosening. Ah, oh, feeling that comfortable, feeling there within your body. Eight, allowing sounds that would normally um, perhaps be distracting to just help you to go even deeper. So all of these sounds that you hear, my voice, um, other sounds from in around where you are, all just take you down deeper and allow you to feel very calm and very relaxed. And seven, I know you are feeling heavy, but if at any point you feel the need to shift or move around, not only can you do that, and those movements will allow you to be more comfortable, but every movement that you do make will take you down much deeper, relaxed. So in fact, you could um, attempt to do that now just by raising that heavy hand of yours. And as it then becomes nice and heavy, so heavy that you need to set it down, once you set it down, that heavy relaxation increases there even more. And six, calmer, calmer, more peaceful. Five, deeply, calmly, relaxed, wonderful. Four, sinking down even farther into this deep relaxation. And as you experience this tranquility there of that place, just letting it flow so calmly there. 
so deeply in through your body. And three, just releasing, relaxing, calmer and calmer. You're doing brilliantly. Um, two, calmer and calmer. What a wonderful feeling it is to let go and relax and just sit in this comfortable relaxation feeling and one relaxing even deeper down now wonderful so from wherever you are at um, there in your mind I want you to imagine now we're gonna go down even deeper into this relaxation um, you have a, a pen and a piece of paper there in front of you or perhaps if you want to get artistic today you have a canvas and some paints so we are just going to paint um, the number 10 or draw the number 10 so whether it is a T E N or the one and a zero, um, that choice is of course up to you, whichever feels the best. But as we write that number 10 down now, just erasing, letting that 10 now be cleared away. And we're going to write the number nine. So as you write that nine, whether it is an N, an I, an N, and an E, or just that number nine, it also doesn't matter because that number now just dissolves into nothing. And we are going to write the number six. And so as you paint that number six, or you write that number six, uh, whether you write it with the S and an I and then an X or just that number six, it really doesn't matter as that begins to melt away and we write now the number three. So as you write that number three, perfect, exactly like that, whether you want to write it out of the T H R E E or just that number three or perhaps um, you took the initiative to do it both ways either way is wonderful as let's do the number two now and so writing that number two um, and as you write that number two now, it begins to melt away and you notice that your supplies of pen and paper or a canvas and paintbrush have now all but disappeared, which is wonderful. And so as those are gone and you are just in that beautiful place in nature, that you very first started out with, we are going to find um, that need that you have. So whatever habit this happens to be, I don't know because I'm not here with you, but you know. So we're going to bring up the need, the feeling of the need that you have for whatever it happens to be. So as you do that, I'm just going to give you um, a little bit of time here to bring that feeling up because we want that feeling to be very strong and powerful so that we can follow that feeling to where we need to go. So I want you to just think about whatever habit it was that you want to break um, and think about the need that you have for that thing, for that habit and start to build that need up. And as you do, you will physically notice it in certain places in your body. So that is what we are going to give our attention to. Once that feeling, um, that need is brought up, we're gonna notice 
physically in our body the places where that need is stored so do that right now bring up that need and just feel it notice all the places you physically feel it do that now Okay, so as you brought that feeling up, sometimes, I'll, I'll just let you know, sometimes people, you know, feel this in their arms, shoulders, hands, um, places like that. Sometimes people really only feel it in their head. So whatever you are experiencing, um, it is perfectly correct. Some people will feel it in seven places, some only in one or two or a few. So whatever you are experiencing, it is correct. So what we're going to do here now, I'm here with you. I love you so much. I have the intention here that as we go back, things will be resolved and that everything is going to be wonderful for you. So as we hold on to that feeling, still feeling that feeling, letting that feeling be there, we're going to follow it back to when it began. We're going to follow it back to when it began. So not necessarily to the beginning of this habit, but back to when this feeling that you are experiencing right now, back to when this feeling began. So let's go all the way back here. I'm going to count from five to one. All you're going to do is take a nice deep breath and let your mind drift all the way back to when it began. Um, I will walk you through this in a moment here. Um, so five, follow that feeling. Let's go all the way back. Four, three, you're safe. Two, one. Now, whatever scene or time or thought comes up, I just want you to be aware of it. This is when it began. Now, um, I'm going to give you a little minute here to get some clarity. Uh, some people um, will have nothing come up. So if that was the case for you, I'm just going to ask you and you're going to know immediately what age comes to mind right now. And whatever age popped into your mind right there, you're going to go to that age. There will be some type of significant event, some type of something um, that happened at that age. So just for a minute here, I'm going to let you guys get some clarity on the situation, on what it is that's going on. So just do that now. Know you're safe. I'm here with you. We're going to work through this. Excellent. So now we are going to take yourself now into that scene with younger you and whatever happens to be going on at that time, you're just going to take them, remove them from whatever situation that they are in to a very safe place. You're going to sit down and have an honest conversation with them and you're going to ask them, how can I help you? What do you need from me? And see what they say.
Now, whatever it was that they requested of you, do it, give it to them now, whatever it is that they need, do it for them right now. Do that right now. Excellent. Now we are going to give them love. So we cannot um, change that situation. Maybe you don't even want to change it. Sometimes these are negative experiences that we go back to. Sometimes they are positive experiences. Um, so I don't know what it is for you because I'm not there with you, um, but you know. So we are just going to give that younger us love because when we are experiencing perfect love we don't engage in any destructive um, behaviors or habits so give that younger version of you perfect love let them know i'm here for you i'm not leaving you i love you so much and give them that perfect love so I'm going to just send you some perfect love right now in the form of brilliant, beautiful, white light. Now this is perfect love. So I'm just going to send that to you here right now. As I send that to you, you're just going to pass that on. You're going to give that to that younger version of yourself. You're going to fill them up with that love and confidence with that gentle compassion and care. You're going to let them know it's safe. You're going to let them know, hey, you know, everything's going to be okay. It's not your fault. I love you so much. I love you so much. Everything's going to be okay. I love you. I love you. It's giving them that reassurance. Okay, and asking now if there's anything else, anything else that they need from you. If there is, just giving it to them immediately upon their request. Perfect. Okay, now um, we are just going to take that younger version of you. You're going to bring them inside of your heart there. Give them a safe place so that they know you'll never leave them. They're never going to be alone. You're always there with them. Excellent, excellent. And so now I want you to imagine... Just let that scene fade away. Let that scene fade away. Relax deeper, but still aware, never falling asleep, just aware of my voice here. So as we continue to work here, I want you to imagine now staying fully alert so you can follow through with this exercise. I want you to imagine here now that habit that you had. Now, any time that you engaged in it, um, we are going to go through an entire day and we are going to smash, rip, destroy that scene. Anytime that you engaged in this habit of yours, you're going to rip up, smash, and destroy that scene that is there. So go ahead and do that now. Rip it up, smash it, destroy it. Go through an entire day from morning till night. Anytime you would have engaged in that habit, Rip it up, smash it to pieces. Do that now.
Wonderful. Now we are going to go through an entire week. So let's do exactly what we just did there. An entire week, rip it up, smash that habit, totally destroy it, make that scene unrecognizable every time you would have engaged in that bad habit over a week. Now, if this is um, some habit that is not something that is daily for you, then you can extend this even longer. You could go over a month or uh, a year or whatever feels right for you, whatever would be the equivalent there for you. So just doing that right now. Okay, wonderful. As always, if you need more time, pause the video. So as we now have destroyed that scene, what has happened here as you did this is your mind actually believes that it has already destroyed that habit there. Subconsciously, it has been destroyed. Um, so what we're going to do here now is we are going to remove any triggers that may be there. So these may appear as wires connected to um, events or certain things. So just go ahead and remove any of those triggers by pulling out any wires that seem to be connected to um, things that are not helpful like those triggers. So if there's any triggers there that cause this, um, it will probably be certain feelings or uh, certain times of day or events or things such as that. Just go ahead and pull all of those wires out and do that now. Okay, wonderful. So as you uh, have pulled out those wires, now let's just take all of those wires and we are going to bind them all together so that we got one big, nice fat wire. And we are going to connect this into love. So I want you to just find, perhaps it's a dial um, that can turn up and down or perhaps it is um, something that is just solid permanently there we are going to connect these wires now from you to love and so as soon as you connect those to that love i want you to feel the softness that comes there in that space inside of you And as we now create this vision of our future, this vision of our future here free, free from whatever habits, we're going to make this picture, this image, this vision very vivid, very alive, very real. We're going to step into it and actually try it on and see exactly how it feels. So let's just do that right now. I want you to create that vision of yourself completely free. You are free from that habit. See yourself in that scene, step into it, try it on, see how it feels. Do that now.
And as you do this, you must hold firmly and securely within the vision that you wish for and hold certainty inside of you and it will be made manifest for you here. So as you fill yourself now with confidence and certainty, you have overcome so many things in your life. You are filled with strength and power. You are a very powerful being. You can accomplish and achieve anything that you desire, anything that you want, just by setting your vision on it. And as you confidently set your vision on this freedom here, feel it through every ounce of your body in all of that apparent space that is there within you, within every single cell. I want you to feel this freedom, this freedom, this beautiful freedom and truth that is there, feeling yourself free from it. What a wonderful thing that is. Experience this freedom fully. Get to know it. It's got your back. And now let's just send out a feeling of joyful appreciation for ourselves, for our strength and our abilities and our power to overcome anything. Excellent. And you can see now that that need that you had before has been met with love and all our habits in the past were trying to get us to do was to increase that self-love and to love us so much more they were bringing our attention to something that needed our attention but more importantly our love so as we focus on our future here, focusing and seeing only what you want to see. I want you to see yourself here in the future completely confident and free from any destructive patterns and habits in the past. And so becoming aware now that you are free, feeling this confidence increase there inside of your body, building up that strength that powerful confidence, the endurance to know you can get through absolutely anything. Oh, wonderful. So as we begin to come back here today, I'm going to count from five to one. As I count from five to one, you'll bring your awareness back, but I want you to bring back this confident, feeling this motivation within you that no matter what, promising yourself, no matter what, I'm going to love myself more than that habit. No matter what, I'm going to choose myself over that habit. No matter what, I'm just going to love myself better than I ever have before because I know I need to and something is telling me inside that I must. And five, as I start to bring my awareness back here inside of my body, I can feel still that excitement, that motivation, and that feeling of freedom within me. What a wonderful thing that is. How uplifting for coming back free from that habit and excited about it. What a wonderful, joyful thing that is. Uh, two, as you start to bring your awareness now physically back in your body, just wiggle your fingers and toes, start to shift and move around, getting some blood circulating back there inside of your body, waking yourself all the way back up, bring that energy in and one, eyes open all the way back in the room 
free from that habit. Wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, breaking those habits is just the best thing around. It leaves so much more room in your life for actual life energy to flow in. And man, does it feel good. I'm so thankful for all of you. Um, please, if you found this video it was helpful for you today, share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with the world, um, with people you meet on the street. Um, love to you all. I will see you guys in the next video.